Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me today as we host our very first workshop of the 2024 season. This is recorded and will be uploaded and shared through social media, our website, and the newsletter. So be sure to check out National History Day in Arizona for them on Facebook for the most up-to-date information. My name is Jenny Pennington, and I'm one of the co coordinators here at uh, National History Day in Arizona, along with Dr. Rex. If you were a part of National History Day last year, um, then you probably saw us a lot. Uh, but we're really excited to be back for the 2024 season, and today I'm going to focus on understanding the theme, turning points in history, as well as maybe spark some inspiration for projects along the way. As always, if you ever have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I always try to get back to you as soon as I can, um, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So what is the annual theme. NHD every single year has a theme. Um, so for example, the theme this year is turning points in history. Um, it's the 50 year anniversary of National History Day, which is really exciting. You need to be sure to include in your project why your project is related to the NHD theme for the year. You also need to be able to defend how does that topic fit so how is this topic a turning point? It's pretty broad. I mean, turning points in history is a very broad theme. So the beauty of that is you can do whatever you enjoy, math, science, music, art, fashion, whatever makes you happy. There are so many topics from so many different backgrounds and fields and areas of history and jobs that you can figure out a way to make things that make you happy fit this theme. Now remember, it can't be anything that's happened within the last 20 years. So anything from like 2000 and before is free game. So what is a turning point? I think that's kind of a hard question that we have to figure out before we can start looking at a thing. What comes to mind when you think about turning points? So for example, me, the easiest way to explain this because I am a huge US military history fan, I immediately go to war. I think of the Revolutionary War. Um, I think of the Battle of Saratoga. Everyone thought the United States was gonna lose the war up until this point. And so many great ha things happened because they won this particular battle. It's a turning point because the, the script totally flipped, okay? So here's the actual definition. A time which a decisive dis change in a situation occurs, especially one with beneficial results. A point where an important change occurs. So think of like a critical moment, a moment of truth, um, and words like that kind of help you better understand what a turning point is. So here's some ideas I was thinking that maybe kind of fit this theme. Now, please note, these are very broad topics. This is, this is just ideas, okay? You can't just turn into a thing that says, Gutenberg's printing press. Like you, you, that we'll get it a little bit how you can develop these ideas. Um, I'm gonna share this PowerPoint. So I have links to the different websites that um, you can see a little bit more about these particular events. So feel free to kind of explore these things. But I was thinking like the printing press, the bus boycott, the Wright brothers, uh, vaccines, things like that. But also, I, of course, I had to throw in some Arizona topics. So we have uh, Raul Hector Castro, who was the first Hispanic governor of Arizona, um, World War II in Arizona, Navajo Code Talkers, the Gadsden Purchase. There's a lot of turning points in Arizona history because Arizona has been through a lot of stuff, okay? If you are looking to do an Arizona history topic, 
we have our own library and archives who have lots of pictures, manuscripts, other primary sources and secondary sources that you can use to help with your topic. Also, when picking your topic, remember, we offer special awards at the state competition. So we will have that posted on our website and shared with you too. So if you want to use that to help you pick your topic, hoping that maybe you'll win an award, um, that's another thing that seems to help people too. So we know the theme, turning points, and you have an interest. So think like US history, women's history, um, whatever, whatever topic you think is gonna be interesting to you. So break it down. What are some general topics connected to that area of history? And we're gonna, we're gonna walk through an example together here in a second. Break it down even more, baby steps. Narrow the topic down to something more specific. So think of like a location, a person, an event, um, something that's more specific that connects to that broader idea. And then you need to develop a research question. Your research question is what's gonna help you figure out what to do research on. Your research question needs to ensure that you can somehow relate your topic and your thesis back to the theme, okay? So we're gonna walk through an example. So we got our thing, turning points in history, right? Right here, turning points in history. My general interest I picked was labor history, okay? I broke it down a little bit more because there's different facets of labor history. And I said, I wanted to say, I wanted to focus particularly on, particularly on women, okay? So once again, I'm gonna break it out even more. One of the cool, not cool, but like one of the most interesting kind of areas of women's labor history that I really like is the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire. So I then said, how did the events of the factory fire influence labor rights and legislation? So it refers back to the general interest and a turning point because I'm saying that laws are fixing to be made and what occurred because of it. This is my thesis. Please note, you cannot use my thesis, okay, for your project. If you wanna use this particular topic, cool, but you need to come up with your own thesis, your own research question, things like that, okay? Be creative. My thesis says the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire was a catalyst that sparked a significant influx and awareness of the deplorable conditions of the female labor force. The results of this tragedy led to the passage of 30 separate laws about workplace reform and workers' rights, including regulating the minimum wage and working conditions. This is a turning point because of all of the reform that happened. This is a huge turning point in women's history because life as a female worker before was garbage and because it was garbage before there's that turning point you see what i'm saying so i got my i got my thesis i got my research question what else do i need to consider so these are categories, historical context and multiple perspectives are categories on your rubric for all projects. These are some areas that I think that a lot of kids struggled with all over the place, uh, not just here in Arizona, but like literally everywhere. And we need to be sure that we include these in our thinking when we're picking a topic, because if you can't give me historical context, you need we need to rethink our ideas maybe. So we need to make sure that we have historical context. What is that? Well, it's what's the time frame? How does this exact, this exact period in time affect what played into the event? So this particular event, the, the factory fire happened in 1911. So what was happening? There was no labor laws. There was a huge influx of immigration. Um, so because of that, there was consequences, right? Um, there was a lot of unemployed people and there was a lot of unemployed women who were looking for jobs. There was a lot of single women and that's kind of how they were able to get taken advantage of. 
We also need to consider multiple perspectives. What are the different viewpoints that we can consider when we are doing research? We can think about the workers and their families, the ones that were affected by it. We can think of the business owners. We can maybe look at the perspective of witnesses of the event, or even politicians who were for or against or uh, of the passage of any laws or anything like that. These different perspectives provide a more well-rounded understanding of this particular event. And so that helps with things like bias and uh, making sure that your viewpoint is not one-sided, as well as your argument. So also you need to make the case, how is your topic a turning point? What is happening before and what's happening after that makes your topic, topic a significant moment in history? Think about what changed because this one event or this one person or this one thing existed. So here's just some reminders. Pick something that you're passionate about. You're gonna put in a lot of time and a lot of hours into this project um, to make it your own. You need to pick something that you care about and something that you're passionate about and that you enjoy learning about to make the, the, the experience more positive for you. Make sure you're matching the theme. How is your topic a turning point in history? Think about historical significance. Why is your topic important? What is the historical context? What are some multiple perspectives that I can throw in there? And like I said, don't be afraid to ask me for help. I check the NHD email all the time. You can shoot me an email over at nhdaz at azhs.gov or shoot me a message on Facebook at National History Day in Arizona. We will be posting this PowerPoint on our website um, and you can also request a copy from me. So these are some different links that you can go to that take you to our website, YouTube, the National History Days website that has a lot of great resources, Library of Congress, maybe to help start jumpstart some of your research and an office hour sign up form. If you want me to send you any, any of those things, just shoot me an email over at nhdaz at azhs.gov or you can reach me by phone Tuesday through Saturday from nine to three at 928-782-1841. Uh, please make sure you join us for our next workshop, which will be our first live workshop on October 13th at 4 p.m. We're going to be going over the things on our website and some resources that we have access to that can help you at HD. So we look forward to seeing you there. Um, make sure you register. There's more information on our Facebook and will be included in the October newsletter. Be sure to talk to your teachers if there, you have any questions or shoot me an email. Um, I look forward to seeing you there and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.